now almost two years since Kenworth launched the T410. And the 410, of course, was like the 610 with the 2.1 metre wide cab. It was always going to happen that they would do an SAR version, but this is one of the first of the T410 SARs. Like the 410, the 410 SAR has the MX13 driveline, so it's an MX13, 510 horsepower. This one's coupled to the Packard 12 speed transmission. One of the difficult things, I think, for the MX has always been perception because when people buy a Kenworth, they traditionally also buy a Cummins engine. This is no Cummins option, like the 410. Slowly, though, it seems to be that the MX is gaining acceptance. It does its best work, I feel, between 1,200 and 1,500 revs. So in that respect, it should be reasonably good on fuel. But anyway, I'm going to get into it now and take it for a steer and we'll see how it goes again. It's an easy run on this road from Bayswater up through Yarra Glen and up the slide and, and out to Yay and then on to the hills around Mansfield and so on, but it certainly doesn't wear you out driving this truck. It's not too loud either, which is... Some blokes might like a lot of noise, I don't. But it certainly lets you know it's working. But I still think the transmission holds it back a little bit. It's back our transmission. But like I said, the shift sequences are all good. There are little moments where it seems to, seems to get a bit confused with itself, particularly in the lower gears. It might lack some of the finesse, particularly in its intuitiveness, compared to some of the 12-speed Europeans that are around. But what continues to surprise me is that it's limited to a, a GCM of just 50 tonnes. But even so, this truck, with this engine particularly, is capable of far more than just 50 tonne GCM. The big asset, I guess, is that optionally you can go to the 18 speed Eaton, either as a manual or the automated ultra shift. But look, as a single trailer doing this sort of work, it's a really good package, extremely good. Point one metres wide, it really does open up the interior. Whilst they're going to keep the older cab for some models, I don't think there's anything at all wrong with this one either. Personally, I love the layout of the dash. I'm old school and I like gauges in front of me. That said, there's enough of modern technology in the way you can read out your fuel economy and with cruise control and all those sorts of things. I would have liked to have done an overnight run this truck and just slept in it for a night. I think it's a really good layer. Sure, it doesn't have the stand-up cab, but I think in every other respect, it suits this sort of work, this single trailer work so well, or any sort of regional work. It's just a truck that oozes confidence from a driver's point of view, in my opinion. This really does set a new standard. It just gives you so much confidence. And I really do believe they've kicked another goal, Kenworth. And they seem to make a habit of it. With me is Noel Parlier, Chief Engineer at Packard Australia, and you and your team have created this truck. Tell me, for starters, what this bears in similarity with the standard 410. Well, it shares a lot. So the powertrain under the hood is the same, the cab is the same, pretty much everything from the front axle backwards is the same that you would find on the 410, all the same options. So that's the MX-13 at 510 horsepower? That's correct, yep. The Packard 12-speed transmission? Yep. How does it differ? from the standard 410? Yes, yeah, so the main differences are visually what you see is it has a traditional styled hood on it and yeah. it looks beautiful. It also has a set forward front axle and moved up about 600 millimeters forward from the rear axle mm. of the 410. And that's really to help with load distribution. I've only been driving this truck for a few hours and the roads around here aren't the best in Australia, but the road handling is extraordinarily good for such a brand new truck. Bringing the axle forward, has that helped handling? Uh, no, I wouldn't say it's helped handling. It's just one of the areas in design that we really try to control. We want to make sure that the drivability is the best we can. Um, steering, you know, when you're behind the road, long hours of the day, any mm. of that feedback back in the steering just really tires out the driver. And anything we can do to make the driver's life a little bit easier, we're going to do it. What about sleeper options? 
The sleeper option, so the same as the 410, so this sleeper that we have here behind me is a 760. We also offer 860 or 860 millimeter. We offer a 600 millimeter, yeah. and even via UPO, you can get a 1400 millimeter on this truck. Wow. How successful has been the MX for Packard in Australia? It's been really successful. So people that have given it a go with this model and earlier with the 409 have really loved it. They love um, just the versatility in the driveline. They love the fuel economy that the MX delivers. Yeah. Yeah, it's an all-around great engine. It's a great combination, especially with this truck. All right. Well, I'll take you back to Packard headquarters now in Bayswater and... Excellent. Yeah, it's easy with me. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at our product lineup, uh, we're, we're slowly but surely introducing this 2.1 meter cab, which is the cab we're in today. So we went through a whole process of trying to figure out what really was the right spec of a truck to meet that, uh, that market, that application. And one of the things that we were really looking into is how to maximize the sleeper area for the customer. We wanted to make sure we could maximize the payload for loading purposes on top of the stanchion uh, for the car carrier. We wanted to make sure it had enough power. So the, the 410 obviously comes with the MX-13 engine, um, 510 horsepower on the high rating. Uh, that fits perfectly in what the, the application that the customers want. So the engine was the, the key there. We wanted to make sure, as I mentioned, the, the weight distribution so we needed a set forward front axle to do that. Um, we don't have that in the 410. The really important question now in all this is how does a demure lady from the United States of America end up being the chief engineer at Packard Australia? How long have you been here now? So I've been here just over two years. Tell me, are you enjoying it? I am loving it. I absolutely love, I love Australia as the country, but there is such a cult love of the Kenworth product here in Australia that is absolutely fantastic to be a part of. From a so, truck yeah. point of view, though, is Australia truly unique? I think it is. You know, the closest we I think we are. Yeah, yeah. Are I think, we unique in the world? I think we are unique. You know, we have higher vehicle speeds than they have in Europe. We have um, the temperature swings are just massive in Australia, and then you have that high high temperature that we have to deal with. Uh, so the engine, you know, you have to, with emissions, you got to make sure the engine's keeping cool. So a lot of challenges when you throw all of that into, into the mix. So you won't be bored over the next few years? I am not bored. We are so busy uh, with what we're working on, with new product. Obviously, we just launched the T410 SAR in the middle of coronavirus, so most of my staff was working from home. Uh, so we did it remotely, which was a huge challenge, but I'm really proud of my team for, for doing that. And it really, I think, proved to us that, that we can do a lot more than we probably thought we could do. And I hear you're working on a little uh, special project called a Legend SAR, or am I... Have you, have you heard that? I have heard that. Maybe, maybe you're the legend. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Just wait and see. We might be working on something really special for next year. I've just spent the better part of two days driving Kenworth's new T410 SAR. There's a lot to like. At the top of the list, seriously, is the road handling and steering on this truck are the best I've ever driven that I can recall. That's a big statement, but the handling on this truck is just superb. The other big factor is the MX engine. The MX engine at 510 horsepower in this does the job with a single trailer at 42 and a half tonnes really comfortably. I honestly feel the biggest problem with the MX is perception. That's unfortunate because this engine has a lot of, lot of benefits. It, it is a really strong, hard working, and from what I'm seeing so far, reasonably fuel efficient engine. If there is one aspect of the whole truck that is perhaps under average, is it's the transmission. Not because it does anything intrinsically wrong, it just doesn't have the finesse of some of the European 12 speeds. All up, this truck would get very, very high marks. Whether you're a Kenworth fan or not, you have to appreciate the fact that they've done an incredibly good job with this truck. It's homegrown, which is an asset for any proud Australian. 
Look, in summary, I'd just have to say that they've, they've ticked another winner, in my opinion. They really have. It's a good thing.